First? No, you are far from first. Uh, technically, Latte was first, but he gave it up to Seri Ba. I don't know why. Hello, Latte. Hello, Quilla. Hello, everybody else. There's too many names. Um, I'm not doing our selfish deed, but am I truly free? I don't know if the selfish deed is freedom. Hello, Jin. It kind of makes Majima look doofy that he lost his eye because he was making fun of a guy with a knife. It, uh, if you avoided the selfish deed, that's that's pretty good. Maybe he's free now. I don't know. We'll have to ask him if he feels like he's free. Or well, Lavi's like like you could you could never catch that guy. He's all over the place. Sorry, I'm late. Traffic. You know how it is. Uh, I think we're just gonna finish Tana Morris chapter tonight. <clears throat> Chapter 4, A Detective's Honor. The next day. Boy. I think we, we really got to start with a cutscene where there's no dialogue. Come on, man. I'm messing with my magic cards in the back. <laughs> Damn it. Gosh darn it. <clears throat> Hello, Sky. How are you? Nah, not my head hurts. Also, I'm trying to fight through that. I might just die instead, though. <clears throat> I can eat. Be. I'm sorry to hear it. That's like the one thing you don't want to hear when you ask your friend how's it going. It's like the most tragic thing you could possibly hear, and I'm I'm just so sorry. And me before you die though, you said you can't die. I don't know what these impossible like odds are that you want me to accomplish. I can't kill you if you can't die. Like, bro. Just tell me what you want, plain and simple. You're right. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. You do pay attention? I try not to show it. I, I don't want like I don't want you to think I like you or anything. Dumbass. Ugh. Now that I'm used to it, I kinda do like his new haircut better. So, are you going to launch an internal investigation? Not yet. There's something I need to do first. Hmm? What? Don't tell me you're taking off with the money. Yeah, I'm totally skipping town. Actually, I'm taking it back to its original owner. Akiyama? Oh, who's that? Some moneylender, apparently. 
He's got an office on Tenkaichi Street called Sky Finance. Tenkaichi mentioned, woo! I love Dragon Ball! I love Dragon Balls, Charlie. I love Dragon Balls. Oh, no, I think I think that bit would go. I love Dragon Balls, Charlie. I love balls. He's like, Pim, I, I wouldn't scream that at the top of your lung. Smiling Friends is really good. You should watch it if you haven't. Smiling Friends is like so fucking funny, bro. <clears throat> I just finished eating dinner too and I ate it kind of quick so that I could get to streaming and that's probably why I'm like Bleh. and my tummy kind of hurts and uh my head and uh my balls I don't know what I'm saying I don't know what the fuck's happening right now Am I streaming? Am I live? Did I hit go live? I hope not. That'd be embarrassing if I did. Thankfully, no. Ligma? Who's Steve Jobs? Can you imagine how much interest 100 million yen would rack up if I just let it sit? Yeah, forget that. Hmm. Bye, Machan. Have a good day. Don't tell me what to fucking do. Oh. I'll try. See you later. Uh, who was this again? Who were we playing as? I have a theory that Tanamora is related to Wukun because they both wear blue. The camera was on the time. Hello? DS Ruka? Wait, what does DS stand for? <clears throat> Yagami before Yagami? Deep Space Ruka. Oh. Did I go to Deep Space? I don't remember that episode, but it's probably something I did before. That sounds like something silly I would do. <clears throat> Dark Side. Oh. That makes more sense. Did you guys well, like want to hang out or or nah? You guys don't feel like hanging out right now because we don't have to. I was just asking, but like it's whatever. I don't really care. I'm cool. I'm chill like that, you know. A lot of guys they say they're chill, but they're not really chill. They like. As soon as you, like, do something that they don't like, they just fucking go bananas, you know? Not me, though. I wouldn't do that to you, babe. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, it's because I saw a Twitter post about some guy falling in love with, like, a VTuber, and then he found out that she has a boyfriend, and he had, like, a breakdown. And I thought that was kind of funny. Like, not in, like, a ha-ha, and, like, a that's a really sad kind of way. You know what I'm saying, dog? I was about to ask. Ask your question, Sky. There's no dumb questions here, Sky. You don't got to worry about being called dumb. I won't call you dumb. Watch this. I'm lying. I'm going to call Sky dumb. <clears throat> in a G. That's, <laughs> that's kind of interesting kind of way. I need more cards. You guys might think I have an addiction. You're right. You guys, what the heck are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> Please don't ask that, because I can't answer. And then I feel like I blush. I go, teehee, I don't know. 
Is that is that the world you want to live in, Sky? Where you ask me that and then that happens? Now it's cards. Next is tiles. I will not be. I, I, I don't know if Lathy's still here, but I'm sorry, Lathy. We're not playing Mahjong. <clears throat> We played it, they kicked my ass, and I fucking, like, the, the funny part is, too, that I, I'm pretty sure I understood what I was doing this time. It's just that it's Mahjong, so that doesn't actually matter. It doesn't matter if I understand what I'm doing. It's Mahjong, I'm still gonna die. <laughs> <clears throat> like, I, I won, like, one hand, and then it was like, well, that's it. You don't get no more. And, uh, and I didn't even, I didn't even like win out a lot when I won. That was like the worst part about it too. You know what I miss? Why don't they have that what funny little song that was in the last game? Or in Yakuza 2 rather. The sound of breath or whatever? That needs to come back. That kind of thing needs to return to Yakuza. They don't do that enough no more. Hold on, I'm 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 uh I'm almost done here in the background. <clears throat> My forty deck in, in Magic the Gathering has gotten significantly weaker as everybody else has powered up their decks at work. Um And that, that pisses me off, so I'm like workshopping some stuff to make it stronger um and so far it just seems like i'm building an incubator deck so that could be fun i don't really get how incubation works though like am i just creating a bunch of little dudes or can i make one like really strong dude you guys don't know what i'm talking about but one day you will. And by that I mean I'll probably stream Magic the Gathering at some point. Arena? I suck at it, but... I won't get better if I don't play, you know? You know, I don't gotta tell you. I know you know. I'm pointing at you in the crowd. Yeah, you there? I know you know. Not you. You move out of the way. I'm not talking to you. I know you are. Guy who stood in the way briefly. These cards look cool. I don't know how to describe them, but they look like monsters. Why is this a planes? <clears throat> Why is this a planes? This is a good card. I need this. Why the fuck is it a planes? My deck is black and red. I don't want to have planes in there too. For one card? God damn it. Do I make this a red, black, and white? That feels stupid. I feel like, I know that you can do like a bunch of different elements and stuff, but I feel like spreading it that thin is like such a bad idea. If I could, do I have a card that counts for red and white? Because if I do, then that'll be ideal. But that would mean I would need that specific card to summon this one dude. And that honestly just feels really stupid. I don't have, I have one card that's like you declare a color and then this, this card can give you mana of that color too. Um... And I guess I could use that for planes, but I, I would like to have the odds of actually being able to use this monster a little bit higher than one specific card. Because that's how you get bricks in Yu-Gi-Oh. And I'm not trying to brick over here, you know? I've had enough of that life. I learned my lesson. <clears throat> Brickin's just not for me. Also, did you expect the opening of Yakuza 4 to be me just playing or talking about Magic the Gathering in the background <laughs> instead of playing the game? <clears throat> because if you didn't, you should have. Yeah, <laughs> Quilla's just Quilla's just two steps ahead. <laughs> Quilla saw this coming. <laughs> Pretty impressive. 
I'm looking through my cards to see if I had one of those that does like planes, but also lava. Oh, I do. Oh, she. Um, what would be more ideal if I had another one of those? Because now I have two cards to summon it. <clears throat> I'd feel more comfortable if I had a third land that would let me summon it. Because then it would feel less bricky. Because I could still use the mana for red cards. Which would be nice. Let me just look through my entire pile of cards one more time. See if I can find another red-white thing. <clears throat> What's funny too is I have cards in here that cost blue and greens. And I don't have any blue and green in here. But I also just put those in here because... Uh, I can pay with my life as well, so I'm just gonna take the damage to pay those costs because I'm a fool. And I don't know, it just seemed like a good idea at the time. The time being right now while I'm making this deck. Hold on, you guys will begin shortly. Hold on, I'm almost done. Hold on. Instant. No, I don't want that. No, 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 no. Uh, I have to have another white red card. Come on. Just more and more. If not, I'm going to have to go out and buy like 20 booster packs again. I hate card games, dude. Yu Gi Oh! No magic. I fucking hate Yu Gi Oh! The, 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 the like, current state of Yu Gi Oh! is disgusting. I don't have fun with the cards I'm using that I need to win, and I don't have, like, I just can't win if I don't use those cards. Like, it's just, it sucks. That's why I don't play it. Yeah, everybody at the office plays Magic, so I, I got into it, but I got, you know me with card games. Uh, a coworker gave all of us two packs of. 20 or, or yeah two packs of 20 and we start playing those and now it's uh hey kami yeah now i've gone off the deep end and now i'm just like buying cards all the time basically every time i step into a card store i have to buy some it's uh it sucks and i'm currently trying to build a 40 deck uh god i don't have any black or white and white ones either that sucks all right, <clears throat> so I need this planes because he would be a good guy to have. Uh, I have four here. I, I got to add some planes to this deck, even though I really don't want to. Um, do I have any more planes here that I can just add? This is all green. Green, 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 green. green. Green, 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 green. That's so many things. Um, somewhere around it. I had, I like stole a bunch of that. Yeah, like those like SpongeBob and Patrick stealing balloons on Free Balloon Day. I just grabbed like a handful of land and ran out the store screaming. Uh, where are my planes, bro? I need to save some planes for the deck that's coming in the mail, though. I can't use all my planes. You know how that goes. I don't got to tell you guys. I don't got to tell you guys. You don't got to. Yeah, you guys know you can't just be spending all your planes. I don't got to explain that to y'all. Y'all know. I know you know. Um. <clears throat> cool. This one, I'm going to add that too. It's just like her. Who's her? I know, I don't. <laughs> no, you know, I know you know. Uh, yeah, so this is going to become a black, red, and white deck. That's probably a stupid idea. Especially for a 40. My odds of getting bricked are super high. But, you know, never tell me the odds. You know, that old saying, you know, you know how fucking Bambolo, what Bambolo says. Bambolo is like, don't tell me the odds because I can't do math. Me neither, man. 
<clears throat> he needs no odds, bro. I can't even count. Don't tell me the odds because I don't know how to fucking count them, bro. I'm just out here swinging and stuff. Uh, mountains. That's not a land. Gotta have more planes somewhere. I want to get like at least three or four planes in here. I don't need that many because you know it's just it's for like two, three cards. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to look through this more later and see if I can find more incubator cards because then I didn't because I wasn't looking at the whites. So I picked up. No, that's not me anymore. I, I'm not about that life anymore. <clears throat> um, Alabaster host and the ship that entered the left field, South Tech, which is a point for two. Yeah, that's a fact. I wasn't looking at the white cards, I was only looking at the red and black ones because uh, that's what the deck was. But I'll have to go back and look through them again and see if I can find more of the incubator cards because I that's what I'm going for. Oh, this guy, I want this guy too, but he takes one of every element. Yeah, I have an idea. I know I have other cards that are like, oh, this one can be green or blue, or this one can be blue or black, or whatever. I'm probably going to try to put all those in there. Just for that guy. Oh, I have one of these annoying lockdown cards too. My coworkers all have that shit. I had like a super strong monster at work today. I had like three super strong monsters, and my coworker like locked down two of them, and they couldn't play the game anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I was like, "This is awesome! I don't actually get to play." <laughs> it's so cool. I was very salty. I still managed to get like a big card out there. I did a cup. I kick on all of them. That shit was fun. I built a whole deck around one card that just has artwork of a bicycle deck. Oh, my game swallows. Because <laughs> I've been idle this whole time. Hold on, hold on. I'm almost done. I'm just getting the cards out. I'll organize the deck later. I just want to find them right now. Tanamora, shut up. I'm doing Magic the Gathering shit in the background. Shut up, Tanamora. Shut up. Yeah, I can get these, like, special lands and remove a mountain. Because they'll still count for a mountain. So I can just subtract a mountain from my, my pile and still have a... Okay, I have a blue. I need a green now, though. I need one that gives me green, and then I'll be set. And I can summon the big boss. Big boss boss himself. I gotta have a card that gives me green on red. That'd be ideal. Or green and black. That would work, too. Then again, this is also running the risk of getting... Well, no, because he's just... Well, nah, it's kind of not... This deck's not looking super great. But I know that it's not good. So that makes it okay. <clears throat> like, as long as I know it sucks, right? That that means that, like... That I suck. Oh, no. Mmm. No, no. Come on. Just give me one green and black or green and red. That's all I need. Yeah, please. I'll even take a green and white, actually. Green and blue. I don't need that. Uh, that's not what I need, you stupid cards that I obtained. And so it's nobody else's fault but mine, I guess. I just can't in like good conscience put greens in here without any use for them besides one card. Ugh. There's got to be something. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there is. A bit, I just might not own it, which is will, will make me really sad if that happens. If I can't find, I gotta have a green and black or green and red or something. There's got to be something. Maybe there's not something. Maybe I'm just lying to myself to feel better about the... Yeah, I have a bunch of green and blues, but that doesn't really do anything for me because I'm not running blues in this. 
I'm technically not running greens either. I just want it for this one guy who I know isn't going to be worth bringing out anyway. But that's how I play this game. I just want to summon whatever I think is cool. So I end up like building stupid decks. <clears throat> I used to do this in Yu-Gi-Oh too, but that game became unplayable. By the way, the fucking the guy behind me, the two guys behind me when they play, they're playing Yu-Gi-Oh when we're playing Magic. And it does they're playing like cuz the guy uh, my APL who plays um Yu-Gi-Oh competitively it doesn't sound like he's having fun with that shit. Like, I, I overheard them playing, and it's like they're, like, playing, like, lawyers and shit. Like, they have to be like, oh, well, this doesn't work because you popped it this. But he's like, no, but this says activate, and this says effect, so it's not the same thing. It's like, that, that that's probably one of the more, like, main reasons why I don't like Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore, too, is that if you play it, you also have to be a fucking lawyer. You have to be a lawyer to get any of your effects to go off, or else the other player's just going to be like, no, uh because of this ruling. If you see here... Under paragraph 79, article 2, 5,000, line 3, you're gay, so you can't play that. Sorry, my move. That's basically what Yu-Gi-Oh is now. <clears throat> Alright, fuck it. I'm just going to put the blue-green in here and hope for the best because I didn't find what I needed. Probably just cry. Probably just cry. I'm not going to lie. I'm never going to summon this dude. This isn't worth it. This deck is a mess. That was the end of the thought. Uh, I had two, so I might as well put the both in there just in case. Because you can still use it as like generic mana if I need to. As long as I don't end up having like... If I have two blue-greens, the odds of me drawing both two blue-greens and not drawing any other mana aren't that high. So if I'm getting my red and black, which is what I need for the majority of my cards, I should be fine. I'd still feel more comfortable with a little bit like if I had another if I had another either red plain or red yet white and or a red black or I'm um, sorry not red black if I had another red white or, or or a white black I would feel more comfortable with the cards I'm putting in there but that's not the world we live in children Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I need to remove thirteen cards from this deck so that I can put in the extras that I just got. So, uh, one, you are tokens, you don't count. Get rid of a mountain. Get rid of another mountain. So, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, I have the Thriving Bluffs too, so I can call those as I need, so that's not bad. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. And... 11, 12, one more, and you, 13. All right, so this is now majorly just a, or majorly it is just a incubation-based incubation deck. This probably is super stupid and the deck's garbage, but I think that I, so what the incubator deck is, is that you summon like basically like alien invaders, right? I broke the game. You summon like alien invaders, basically. And what they do is, uh, when they do their effects, they do what's called incubation. But you just summon a token. And that token is like an egg that gets buffed up. And then eventually, you uh, can turn that token into like a full grown monster that comes out and hits them. And you can get like a little army of monsters out here. And I think that's a real cool gimmick, so I want to I wanna play it. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 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 eighteen,
but I can see the map supreme. I'm sorry. I'm sorry the first actual 30 minutes of the stream was just me fucking around with Magic the Gathering cards. Off screen. <laughs> Basically, I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest streamer. Uh, right. I'll see these sleeves. I already opened them anyway. Let me just double count them real quick before I forget. Two. Okay, 40, yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Look, I lost today, and I take that real personal. You know, I don't like losing. Especially in card games. Uh, but okay, I'm done. So, uh, oh, my tokens. <laughs> I have four incubator tokens. That's why. That's the main reason I built the deck. My coworkers gonna be like, "Why'd you build this?" I'm gonna be like, "I had four of the tokens you need." <clears throat> but that's how. I, that's that's actually why I like Magic the Gathering because this way of playing, I can still like play. Like it's I, I can't play on the most competitive levels, but I can play casually. And in Yu-Gi-Oh, you just like, oh god, I remember playing Juju once, and Ami had given her like a, or shown her like a, a Floodgate deck, and I asked her before we played, I was like, do you want me to like, use like a serious deck or a not serious deck? And she told me not serious, I didn't get to play, she just kind of like chain summoned for like 30 minutes, and then like one hit killed me, because I wasn't using a deck to stop any of that, and I'm like, yeah, I don't fucking like Yu-Gi-Oh. That's why usually when I play it, we're only playing events or I'm playing with friends because I won't play that shit. Like, I, I won't play rank. When I play rank, I have to be using, like, the dirty fucking, like, super meta decks and shit just to be able to compete. And I don't like that. I don't have fun doing that. Magic so far, I haven't ran into that problem yet, but I haven't delved deep into Magic the Gathering Arena also. I played some on my phone earlier today, like, on the way home from work. And I was using a ninjutsu deck, and it was pretty fun. I lost the match, but it was still pretty fun. Anyway, sorry about all that. Huh, so Sky Finance was here all along. Oi, you're not here. Ah, look who it is. I haven't seen this guy in a while. Akiyama san ka? So desu kedo? Huh? Anta doko ka de? Huh? Anta? Wait, did we run into Akiyama? Oh no, Tanamura ran into him at the very beginning of the game. That's right. I forgot all about that. So ka. あんたがヤスコさんに金を貸した男だったのか。ヤスコ。ヤスコってリリちゃんのこと？どうしてあんたリリちゃんの名前を？So <sighs> that's your story. She didn't tell you any of this. Nope. She never asked. I figured it was something serious, but dang. Borrowing enough to put a hundred hundred millionaires in debt? Ought to save your wrongfully accused brother on death row. I just wish she had come to me earlier. Might have saved her from going down the dark path. Well, now that Katsuragi's broken his promise, we can at least put the money issue to rest. Here. I'm sure she wants you to have this. Nah, I'm good. Wait, what? I'm saying I won't accept the money. We're straight. Okay, explanation please. Regardless of how things went down, I lent that money to her. Is it only right that she'd be the one to return it? I don't know. Won't that leave a big gaping hole in your account? Why you say it like that? Detective, I have so much money, I hardly know what to do with it. I wish that was me. And I'm not interested in making more. As for the hundred million, I couldn't give a rat's ass if I never saw it again. I can't believe this story you're telling me. It's macabre. Tell me about it. 
My favorite. That's my favorite. Their, their, their line delivery is so fucking funny. Why does he sing it like that? According to him, he just went through something super fucking traumatic, and he's just, like, doing a little tune. <laughs> Tell me about it. Like, why? I get that he wants to be a singer, but, like, what he experienced was, was traumatic. Bro has been in sex lady for years and he spent all that time training to carry it too. <laughs> his you know what? They didn't break his spirits. They may have busted his butt. But that boy still is still chipper. And yeah, you know what? He gets the ending he deserves. Why? God, it's so it's it's still just the, the, the idea that a fucking like actual just gay pornography ends in a music video. <laughs> What were they? What were they? They were, they were on drugs. I don't even have to ask. They were on drugs. They were fucking high out of their mind when they were coming up with that. And honestly, I respect it. Why? You see, I don't money to people I feel are worth investing in. That way I can see my loan how my loan affects their life. And that's a much more meaningful reward than seeing any numbers on a spreadsheet. Not sure I understand your logic, but okay. Point is, I'm not taking the money. Not till she returns it in person. Where is she anyway? Okinawa. Her brother was transferred to a prison there a few days ago. <clears throat> she said she wanted to be near him on his execution day. I knew she was a keeper. Huh? Did I not mention? I fell for her. Akiyama, you're just as wait, like, in love? Exactly. So I'd really like to see her again. Unfortunately, that money is the only connection between us now. That's why he doesn't want to give it back. If I take it back from you, the connection is cut, and I'll probably never see her again. Some say love, love lasts only as long as the money. Heh. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Pretty sad, huh? Almost as sad as Ara son. Ara? I don't know why I said I'm Ara. <laughs> One second. Mushy, 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 mushy. Hello? Oh, kiddo. How you been? Found a right yet? Did he? What? Mishima, you mean the Yuena goon without a with a without a bullet in his head? Like what? You mean the Yuena goon without a bullet in his head? <clears throat> Is that a typo? Isn't that the one he killed? Shouldn't that be with a bullet in his head? Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Cause like that's such a weird way to describe people. Don't like most of us not have a bullet in our head. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get back to you. Bye. Who was that? I heard something about finding a ride. That was Kiddo, a rise right hand man. What? A hand the size of a man? I might as well tell you now. I'm helping Kiddo find his boss, Arai. He's a good kid. I get it. Why? Because I can't afford to lose Arai. Shibata's boys are going nuts trying to find him. They're trying to appease the Yueno Sewa by handing him over. We have to find him somehow before they get their hands on him. Of course, if what you just said is true, I've been betting on the wrong horse. With your connections, what's your connection with Arai anyway? <clears throat> I've been backing him out of, of, out of personal interest. <laughs> I'm not a mob friend or anything. All right, I forgot we're talking to a fucking cop. Or I'm sorry, I'm not playing as Akiyama. 
I don't know why I, I kind of I just assumed we were still Akiyama. Every time I see Akiyama on the stream, I want to be playing as Akiyama. Still, this whole thing has been a real kick in the sack. But imagine Arai would be in bed with Kasaragi. The sack? Yeah. You have to be careful with that Akiyama. No, he just bounces it around. I never pegged him. As a type to make a move like that. Tanamaru's like, why'd you pause? Did you have to pause there? Yeah, here they get saggy. The Akiyama don't got that problem. He's rich. So just pay someone to de stretch his balls. Mm hmm. Oh, that. Kiddo was looking for a ride when he stumbled across the other Ueno group. You know, the one disappeared after the shooting. There was another one? Uh, I, clearly, I clearly don't know Akiyama. Guy named Mishima. He was sworn brothers with Ihara. The guy arrived ventilated downstairs. Oh, that's what he means. The one without his... Okay, because he was talking about the two of them. So he fucking remembers them as the dead one and the not dead one. Thank you, Akiyama. Very cool. <laughs> you stupid motherfucker. So, what about him? He's asking for police protection. In exchange, he says Okafa all he knows. He wants the police? Huh. He wants a detective he can trust. One that can protect him from the Ueno Sewa clan. I think you should go talk to him. Me? Yeah. You're a perfect fit. I mean, based on what you said, the force sounds like a total snake pit. Plus, you can't count on Suguchi, our superiors. What better person than you? Why should I? Our hero. Who knows? It might get you a step closer to the truth you're looking for. How do you know that? I didn't mention my dead dad to you. Do I just look like I have a dead dad? How do you figure? The recent shooting between the Sewa and Kanamura Enterprises, right? I've got this hunch. It's all, it, Akiyama should have a gunplow back there. You see where that plan is? Akiyama should have like a, a, a strike noir right there where that window is. Akiyama just that smart, like he just, he just knew that his dad was dead because he's just that intelligent. I buy it. That makes sense to me. I feel like Akiyama would be a Gundam Seed fan. I don't know. He's just like I just it's the one I like. And you don't you don't elaborate. <clears throat> I got this hunch it's all connected to the case your old man was working back in eighty five. There's just too much overlap between the main players to be a coincidence. Moshi Ano Arai Sanga Ura de Snagatita Katsangi no Mere de Ano Tompajikan or Sakui de Kinio Koshi Tatoshitara. Ma Katsragi was Shibata to Kyoboste Tojoka or not Toro to Stata. Sokoni Didichan no Satsinda Katsragi wa Kyoboste Ita has no Shibata or Uragiri. さらに何とかして25年前のことを知る人間を殺す必要があった。どうしてだ。指示されていたからか。葛城
警察内部に裏切り者がいるってことだな、はあはあ、どうする三島って男に会ってみるその価値はあると思うけどおい俺が行こうだが罠を張る罠何それその三島ってのが本当にあのドンパチ事件の生き残りなんだったら何か知ってる可能性もあるまあそれはそうだけどなら三島の存在は桂木だけじゃなく警察の裏切り者にとっても邪魔なはずだなるほどねわざと警察に三島との接触を報告して裏切り者をあぶり出すってことか What, what if he's the traitor? 危険な賭けになるぞ。覚悟はできてんのかなあ、俺にとって、この山は自分の人生そのものなんだ。Mishima is supposedly hiding over at the docks on Tokyo Bay. Your best bet is to take a taxi there, unless, of course, you have a fancy cop car. Thanks for the advice. Now, to report my next move to the station. Hi, this is Tanamura from the Community Safety. Can I get someone in the organized crime, please? Yeah, anyone there will do. Thanks. Hi, this is Tanamura from Community Safety reporting in. I just wanted to check in before I go meet with a Yakuza member named Mishima, a material witness to the shooting in Kamurocho the other day. I'm meeting him over at the docks in Tokyo Bay. Yes, that's right. No, he's already there. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, now that that's taken care of, I'll be on my way.、Oh. Alright, l just be careful. Good luck. I should play Monster Hunter Stories. Well, the second one, I can't play the previous one anymore. Mishima's supposed to be hiding in a warehouse on the docks. Getting there by a cab would draw less attention. You don't have a cop car. You can just say you don't have a cop car. I know you don't have a cop car, Tanamura. You're more like an intern than, like, than a cop. You're attacking me? I'm an officer of the law. Die! Come here, I want to break your arm. He. That's fun. It really is just snake style before snake style. I've been stabbed! Dios mio. Ah. Tanamura is basically proto Yagami. Do you think they made Yagami because、uh, because they lost Tanamura? And they were like, man, he's a cool character. We want him back. I'm gonna stab you. I know I'm a cop, but. Hee <laughs> hee. Please stop, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, are you giving me a platinum plate? Holy shit! Alright, we're making the detour towards the、uh, pawn shop. I wouldn't be surprised if they're visiting Tanamoro as part of the original pitch for Yagami. They just they have too much similarities for it to be a coincidence. It's a real shame Yagami doesn't get to hang out with the main crew ever. Seeing as they're all old and dead. But he has his own cast, his own crew, his own villains, and they're all pretty great. I'm hoping in the next game we see Hanamura again. I love the Hanamura fight. Both of them are so. It's so satisfying when you roll up on Hanamura and he's like just gambling all smug. <laughs> Akiyama is still young and v- 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 Vivicus? 
Vivicus? Vivicus? What is that word? I don't recognize that. Does Don Quixote? Oh. Yakuza. Oh my god, the game. Hey, back off, buddy. Fuck you. God damn, he's that arm. He's dead. I cracked his arm so bad that his his face started bleeding. Damn, doing that, that doing that off the wall is so fun. Eh. Vie vivacious, vivacious, attractive. Oh, I mean the other guys aren't like ugly or anything. <laughs> it's just Yagami's. Yagami's not even that young. Sugora though. When did we get to play a Sugora? Find out whatever the hell his real name is. Also, where was I going? We need Ginger Twink gameplay. I wish they were bold enough to just straight up call him Twink. They were so close with Skinny Little Ginger. If they just had a little bit more balls to call him Skinny Little Twink, Ginger Twink, the internet would have been on fire. I guess I will run to the store. Capoeira is cool. We need it. Yeah, was, we didn't get Noctis Capoeira. We need Sugora now because Noctis failed to deliver. I guess he still does the dodge, but. Now I'll never die. It's not like overkill, like we don't really need that much medicine and stuff. We've been fine with what the game gives me. This one's been a lot more generous than I than I'm used to. <laughs> also, from all the battle themes, I think Tanamora is kinda of the weakest. I'm sorry to say it's kind of more heads. Like, it's funky, but I just think the other ones are cooler. I like how simple that one is. Like, it's not a kick or anything. It's sort of just like, ah, get off of me. <laughs> like, it's sort of just stomp slow. Like, that's police brutality. I got 69,000 yen. Let's go. The funny number. Why is that number funny? Before we go over here, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to throw away some trash and I'm going to get water.
Okay. I think this is the end of his, of his, of his part. Very well, sir. Still really curious about that one taxi that canonically just rips me off because there's never been a, a, a taxi as expensive as that. Legit, that one airport one just is a rip. -off. ロシオ Are, are you a detective? Yeah. I'm going to place you under protection. Soda. Okay. And you really think you can keep me safe? Uh, I'm going to try, but I don't know. Only if you keep your part of the bargain. You give me the dirt on what the Unoe, oh, you, you know a Sewa has been doing behind the scenes, and I'll make sure you stay out of harm's way. Then, that's a deal. I'll talk. Yippee. Huh? huh? Oh. It's like this. Me and Ahara were ordered to go make a scene at Club El Nard. Why? Don't know. Nobody said. Just told us to stir shit up, so he followed his orders. But then that prick showed up. Akiyama from Sky Finance? Soda. Yeah, Akiyama. He fucked up the entire game plan. I don't remember nothing after he busted that bottle over my head. Next thing I knew, I was in the champion district. Ahara must have carried me over. Woke up surrounded by garbage bins. No sign of Ahara anywhere. Obamna. Why the champion district? The two of us get shit faced there a lot. That and it's close to the Elnard. Or I must have been freaking out. I bet someone was chasing him if he ditched me like that. I started looking for him so I could find out what happened and figured out our next move. I had no idea what a shitstorm this whole thing would become. Anyway, I've been walking around Kamarocha for a while when I found him. His body, anyway. I practically puked when I saw that. I couldn't even process what was going on, you know? All I knew was I was scared shitless. I ran as far as I could. I ended up at the Unoe Sewa headquarters, but I barely remember how I got there. I found an empty room there to chill the fuck out. Thought I'd catch my breath and try to digest all that shit, the shit that just went down. That's when I heard Katsuragi. He was in the next room talking to somebody on the phone. What do you say? Can't say I heard everything. There's another room and he'd already been talking a while. But it sounded like he was talking to the cops. The word police came up a lot. But it's what he said next that freaked me out. He said, Ahara's dead, just his plan. We'll get rid of Mishima as soon as we find him. I got the fuck out right then and there. Thankfully before anybody saw me. I've been keeping it low pro ever since. Okay, well, you likely won't die. Now that I got all the information, you'll put you in the protection, don't worry. わかった。とりあえず俺のアジトまで来い。警察で保護の体制が整うまでの間、そこでしばらく。わ、that's <笑> What? My the guy who's always grilling me? You're one surprise after the next kid. 
getting this close to the truth and all by herself. I'm damn near impressed. You didn't seem to, or you don't seem too phased by all this. Let's just say I had a feeling you'd show up. <laughs> so you baited organized crime to see if you could lure out the traitor. Something like that. And you're not surprised to see it's me? Not really. Though I can't say I wanted it this way. How'd you know it was me? A gambler's dumb luck? A detective's hunch? Suguichi. A good hunch comes from keen observation. Didn't you learn that back at the academy? <laughs> Must have slipped my mind. So, what tipped you off? I've known you were no ordinary cop for a while now. It's your fancy shoes. They always look brand new. What? Not exactly practical for a homicide cop working with murder scenes. A normal cop buys cheap shoes and wears them into the ground. The watch, too. It's way too expensive for executive salary. It's so high end, I doubt your average person's ever even heard of the brand. And if they did, their heads would explode at the price tag. <laughs> well, don't you have it all? Instincts and a sharp eye. Please, Siguchi. You really think it was on me? Mm -hmm. Huh? You haven't exactly been subtle. The rescue stage when I met up with Katsuragi, sending Chief Asai ahead up to the homeland. It almost feels like you've been waiting for me to catch on. What are you talking about? You've been working with Katsuragi for the last 25 years. But now you've grown tired of your little partnership, haven't you? I paid a visit to the archive room 13. I saw the report on the UNA Sewa hit. What? You and my dad were both assigned to that case. Only the two of you could have covered up something as big as Katsuragi butchering 18 of his own people. And I know it wasn't him. You were ordered by someone up top to alter the facts, weren't you? Ought to protect your good friend Katsuragi. Tell me I'm wrong. You shut your goddamn mouth. Did you just kill me? Oh good, you missed. You know the first fucking thing about the case. Or about me. So Another step, he wasn't taking the step, he was going to fire a gun. I wish, uh, Joji was also here. Just like a part of the for no reason, just like in the background. And it's not acknowledged. <laughs> this is definitely a selfish deed, but he looks pretty free right now. At least for now. He said China. <laughs> he thought he was gonna be able to walk out. <laughs> He's like, okay, peace. I'm, I'm glad that worked. Koko de Utaranta Warida. Nihon no Kansas Timana. Utenen there. So that. What can they do then? You can just walk out. They're, they can't arrest him? They're so useless. Oh my god. Oh, 
Make attack with us. Drag him in the iron. They're like, no, we can't do nothing, bro. He's gonna get away. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. That means he's pretty highly trained in martial arts. I know. We fought the SWAT. You don't gotta tell me that. I know. Tenor's a pretty good guy. Don't get attached, Sky. So this guy's attached. Damn it! He just keeps saying bye bye. It's like Tulu. Wait, what? On a boat? <clears throat> Can we in second boat? <laughs> no, it's, it's... Uh, shut up. Whoa, this, this is so bad! Oh my god, this is terrible! Why does this control so poorly? This sucks! Oh my god, this is so- this is the worst it's ever been! Uh, this is stupid! <laughs> ow, 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 ow. I have infinite bullets, why wouldn't I just spam this? It doesn't do as much damage as the tackle, I guess, but it keeps him from shooting me. They're like watching like Magnum PI or something, and they're like, we gotta have a boat chase. They always have boat chases. This is so dumb. He has so much help for this too. Don't talk, shut up. Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going back, you got me. <laughs> this is so goofy. Oh, 
Now we're married. This fight's actually pretty cool. I've seen this. Junji Suguchi. Now we got matching bracelets. Let me go! I'm gonna go get what that is. I don't have a room, I just remembered. This is really cool weapon, yeah, I, I like that one. That dynamic interest is pretty good. I see. Damn, bro, you sidestep a lot. What is this, Tekken? I'm just kidding, sidestep, it doesn't work in that game. Why didn't I parry that? Whoa, 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 what are you think you're doing? Okay, I don't like this guy. It doesn't, it's actually like super broken right now. Like this, the tracking's too good in that game. Sidestepping's kind of not worthwhile unless you like know that move will get like sidestepped. Uh, Cause a lot of shit that, sh that shouldn't track tracks. But Tekken 8's current state is apparently really broken. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. We actually haven't landed that at all this whole time. This fight is basically part of that guy with the instant kill and lost judgment. Nah, I, I fucking remember that guy. I'm gonna die there a lot. But that guy's like chill. This guy's not chill. Yagami and that guy only fought because. Oh no! They were like, they'll never see this one coming, and then they had him instant kill you. <laughs> They added the joystick input. They also added the fucking triggers too. L1 and R1 and all that. They, they, those got way harder. They made it like God of War QTDs. This is where the fun begins. Hey, it's Sai. This is where the fun begins. Is this a different theme? Uh, I don't think so. It's the boss theme. But this is like his dad's killer. So hello, Sai. You play? You're playing Helldivers too? Oh, I love that game. I need to play it more. Ah. Oh. Uh. Oh. You almost beat him one day, guy. Democracy. I hope you had fun spreading democracy. I'm fighting the guy who killed my dad right now. And covered it up and put an innocent man in jail. Not that innocent though, because that man was trying to kill them. But it's complicated. We're fighting right now. I'm the blue one. Oh. 
Who's a great? I fucking love Who's that. Uh, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. You're stuck here forever now, though. You can't move. Why did your every hit you do stuns me, bro? You're stunning, man. Ow. Fuck. Why didn't that parry that? Wait, 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 wait. That could have killed me. Oh, wow. Tanamore, you're facing the wrong way. Tanamore's like, when I find you, let me go. Oh, like, how hard I have to mash is proportionate to the heat, and I never realized that. I... We did it. We beat the... I think that's the end of Tanamura's chapter. Which means I might have to switch models here in a second. So, Osiro! Who is the one who killed my father? You're my best friend. なんであんたなんだよ。なんで、なんで警察官が警察官を殺さなきゃならねえんだよ。That was a cool fight, yeah。だから。言ったじゃないか。Don't get attached to Tanamura。俺はな。そもそも警察官。I see you, Sky. I see your little twinkle in your eye. You think Tanamura's cool?俺はな。極道なんだよ。どういうことだ。俺と葛城がな。そっちの世界で言うとこの兄弟。もう それが俺だ。あんたがヤクザ。Where it's flashback time? Hey. What if they all just got up like, man, that was crazy? Oh yeah, the archers are getting up like, wow, nobody died, cool. One guy's over here like, I'm bulletproof. <laughs> That's smart. One guy just leaves thinking he can't be killed by bullets the whole time. Uh -huh. 
つらぎお前何言ってあっ何言ってつらぎ Was that rubber too? No. I don't think these guys realize they're being killed. Like, they're all, all those guys are still alive right now. They're just like, owie, 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 owie. Maybe some of them are like they believe they got killed, so they're act like they did they just their mind just convinced them they've been killed. How's mm. this guy be like, oh my god? What the guy? I'm sure they're fine now. I don't think those ones are rubber. Do you think they sing Baka Mitai for each other? <laughs> That's a, yeah, I hope so. That's like kind of shit. Orion, whoever the fuck this guy is. Oh my god. Oh, wait, that's. We just fought him. That's uh, Sibuichi. Ijoga. Sajima Taiga Nyor. ウエノヨシアル襲撃事件の顛末です。なるほど。ご苦労だったな。いえ、これが自分の仕事ですから。ほう。その報告書を書くことが可能。おお、he oh, ウリがありすぎるよ、杉内君。この程度の報告書で私の目をごまかせるとでも思ったのかね。あの狭い店内、犯人の最島が20人もの人と言われるのに、かなり無茶な乱闘になったはずだ。当然、最島も抵抗を
このことに有能な君が思い至らなかったとはとても思えないのだがねそれは<笑>杉内君一つ君に頼みがある。で、杉内君、You're kind of fucking stupid, aren't you? 私にカツラギイサを引き合わせなさい。Why? そうすれば今回のこの事件、君の報告書通りの結末にするだ。どうだね。タナモーズ、Dad was a bastard? No. パパ宗方 Was that his dad? Oh no, that was the deputy commissioner. Okay. Have we seen his dad? Oh, his dad was the guy with the fucking uncanny face. So I'm coming to get it. It feels good to tell the truth and not be killed. Instead of lying, I don't <laughs> ダメ。お前はいいな。デカとして生きられてえ偽りとはいえ30年もデカやってるとそれなりに人に感謝されたり喜ばれたりすることもあった俺はその度に悩み苦しんだ不思議な何をしてるのか何をしてるのか何をしてるのか何をしてるのか何をしてるのか何そんなりゃ頭じゃダメだと分かっていても心の奥底では嬉しいという感情を覚えちまう俺もさお前みてえに悩んで苦しんで走って力いっぱいでかいやってみたかったな y o u r okay? 杉内さん自分の力で父親の仇捕まえたんだどうした一つ教えてくれうん宗像の目的ってのは何だ宗像はあんたへカツラギを使って So, Uchi, I'm not gay, and also you're basically my dad's age. You're basically my dad. You became dad too. So, I'm not gay. 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 He just gets up and he was like, Oh, okay. Nihon no case at Sweat or taking him so. So let me look at. Oh, as no sin or sin, so she or Tammy. Kaji not to Kara Kago a dictator. Soka.
Let them come. Why isn't sound of breath playing right now? If the world was in my hands. Do -do 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 -do. Oh my god. Tanamura, why'd you do that? A third boat? For Blitz now, he's, he's definitely dead. <laughs> this thing is being a Yakuza antagonist turning over a new leaf? Can't believe this. How could this happen? There's another traitor? <clears throat> How many fucking traitors are in the police force? I think you're the only one who isn't a traitor right now. God damn. That's a fish. Goodbye, Suguchi. Old friend. Who's the other traitor? Can you tell me? Can you okay. Suguchi. I literally just you because no one could have. Suguchi! Suguchi! The entire department is corrupt. God damn it! Hey man, being a straight cop is boring. Look at this goofy dude. There's no way he'd be a traitor. He's like, what the fuck is this? He's like, here you. He doesn't understand. So ga. Sugi uchi ga shinda ga. Eh. <laughs> oh, he's the traitor! This goofy dude! Oh, he's the traitor! This goofy dude! It would have been super dark if they're already dead. What if he ripped off the tape and then just kissed them? He's like, you really are a dirty cop. You could never go straight. What? Oh my god. Part 3 completed. For bullets, don't worry. I don't... But who do we play as now? Here That's the guy, that's John Yakuza. John Yakuza is here. Mr. Yakuza, Mr. Yakuza, I'm a big fan. Okinawa. <clears throat> Morning Glory, I know that place. Holy shit, he's alive? Genuinely surprised. <laughs> they shot him with rubber. Nobody dies in this game. She's like, God damn it. Uncle Kaz, we got it. Maybe we should sell this land and just move somewhere else. He just hurries up and like waddles over oh, to stab Kiryu again before he dies. <laughs> it all worked 
this time he survives getting washed ashore. See, security is now's my chance. <laughs> the only thought. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> just like, ow, stop. あの子はああ、はるかか。あいつはあんたのことが嫌いなんだろう。なるほどな。まあ、無理もね。ところで浜崎。お前 by the way, That's Hamazaki stabs him. You owe me one. Just a little story. I actually don't care much for that. That he did that. What do you think a two-fishing will work? Just gotta try it, Kiryu. You taught me. You taught me. I gotta try, even if the odds seem bad. Okay. I guess she don't get it. I tell her, I didn't die. I tell her all the time. I say, Haruka, I didn't die. I don't know why you're so mad. I didn't die. Come on. It's fine. It was funny. Him stabbing you and you dropping dead in the middle of the street was funny, Uncle Kaz. I didn't die. Yahari,知り合いなのか。ああ。それで最初はどうした?ちゃんとカムロ町には行けたのか? ああ。その後無事にたどり着いたかまではわからないかな。I like him Kiryu goes, ah. そうか。Okay, think back on it. It was kind of funny. I don't know why you're so upset. It was hilarious. I, I was just minding my own business. Having a conversation with this man, he's only stabs me like, holy shit. Bro's crazy. キル。あんたどうしても頼みがある。何してるんだ。お前。俺は兄弟を男にしてやるって。だから頼む。I Remember that part, Haruka? Where we had two friends standing nearby who let me get stabbed? We're going to karaoke. <laughs> We're taking Hamazaki to karaoke. I bet this guy can sing Judgment. We're not singing Judgment, Hamazaki. You haven't earned that yet. You gotta prove. You gotta prove that you want to sing Judgment with me. He's like, I don't like that song. Hmm. Maybe you're right after all, Haruka. <clears throat> I'm singing Judgment and you two watch. Don't be no. Can you like, Uncle Cass, can I sing Judgment? No. You can have a different song. That's me and Nishiki's song. I sneeze, bless you. So, Hamazaki, what do you want? Uh. Well, it's kind of a long story, but Saijima, he's the guy who bumped off Yoshihiro, Yoshiharu Ueno. Chairman of the Ueno Sewa back in 85. Wait, that's... Yep. You spent enough time in Kamurocho, you're gonna hear that story. Saijima killed 18 men all by himself that day. You're just singing while crying and awful against tears and sighing over like ugly crying. Someone that's an, an awful lot like Nishiki for me seeing the judgment with them. And Haruka's like, Uncle Kaz, that's not going to happen. It doesn't work that way. People have unique voices, Uncle Kaz. You can't just find a guy who sounds like Nishiki. And she's like, hey, you don't know. You haven't met every single person in the world yet. <clears throat> but maybe you will, champ. Maybe you'll be a little star. Uh, Haruka's like, I think I hate it here. I think I wish I exploded. <sighs> that's what they say. Anyways, the two of us only just met. Both locked up in a private prison, a stone throw away from here. There are two people who sound alike. Haruka doesn't believe that. Kiryu does, though. You don't gotta convince Kiryu's guy. <clears throat> what do you mean, private prison? I mean, the government's not involved. They put the contract in place, yeah. 
But the private sector has been running the joint since the day they broke ground. They call it Okinawa Pen Penitentiary Number Two. Take it you never heard the name. No, I had no idea a place like that existed in Okinawa. They officially call it a correctional facility, but that's a little bull. It's a dumping ground for washed up yakuza they want to snuff out for good. It was only a few days ago that Saijima got shipped down from whatever shithole they had him up in Tokyo. Which is when you met. Bingo. Ho ho ho. And you two planned the jailbreak together? More or less. Though I'm the one who came up with the idea, if I'm being honest. I'm really smart and cool, Kiryu. Why'd you pick Saijima as your partner? You saw him, right? Guys built like a friggin' brick wall. More importantly, I knew what really happened back in 85. The truth. Why do you know? <laughs> Go on. Back in the day, Saijima was real tight with Majima. Yeah, that Majima. And that Ueno Seiwa hit? The one where Saijima slaughtered those 18 guys? That was originally going to be a two-man job. Saijima and Majima. No, sorry, what? How does he know? <laughs> maybe, maybe he'll he just, he just, he just, he stabbed somebody who was talking about it. <laughs> Majima and Saijima were accomplices? Kaoruka's like, oh, he mentioned Majima. Oh, God. Everybody clear the orphanage. Don't talk to Kiryu. Yep. But the day of the attack, Majima never showed. That's the betrayal. That betrayal is how I convinced Saijima to break out with me. Literally every Yakuza but you knew. Nishiki knew too. Kiryu's like, what? Nishiki? Really? It explains why Saijima was talking about revenge when he was here. It's all bullshit though. Majima would never have betrayed his brother. They were both set up. By who? A guy named Shibata. I was heading up a third tier Tojo family at the time. Problem is, Saijima and I got split up before I got to tell him what really happened. So if he had just said something sooner, or Kiryu had just mentioned Majima... <sighs> uh, excuse me. I think I can guess the favor you want. Yeah, you gotta tell him the truth, no matter what. Why is it so important? As it stands, Saijima's gonna try and kill Majima. Has this already been resolved? Didn't he already resolve this issue with Majima? They already talked, here he knows the truth. Saijima sticks to Kiryu and the story doesn't happen, for real. But, yeah, but he don't know that, true. But, I really respect him. He doesn't deserve to be living life in the dark, you know? Hmm. I mean, sure, I only asked him to help me bust out because of how tough he was. But he actually started trusting me during the escape. Me, of all people. Kiryu's like, you do tend to stab people. Oh, come on, Kiryu. It was one time, Kiryu. I'm just giving you a hard time. Look, my life's been nothing but betrayal after betrayal. I've been on both sides of that coin. But two people look beyond all that. Chose to trust me anyway. You and Saijima. Kiryu's like, I don't trust you. I'm a Zaki. I want another chance to start over. Be a true brother to a guy who went on limb and actually trusted me. So I'm begging you, Kiryu. You gotta help me. Eh. One question first. What's that? Why do you need me to do it? Can't you go tell Saijima all this yourself? Well, I... What is it, Hamazaki? Wait, so like if Saijima... Is this happening in the past after Saijima just left? <笑>俺が脱獄した後、サスとの取引に使おうとしていた物だ。沖縄第二刑務所なんて限りなく非合法に近い施設が生まれた経緯と、その資金面での金の流れがかかれている。バージュキープレコードだ。これは。いや、それ
I for, I, did we never find that? I forgot all about that plot point. Did we find that? Did that get resolved? Oh wait, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in there, and it blew up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was in the, it was the top of the Millennial Tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nishiki blew it up. I forgot. That was so long ago now. A year back when I was still sucking the Tojo Clan teeth, suckling, I found out that the top brass over at the Tokyo PD had their hands dirty, real dirty, with tons of shady cash. But you can guess where I learned all that. The snake flower. Yep. They've been working with one of the top men on the force for years. Launder his money through foreign banks and everything. Why go through all that trouble, though? What did the police need with all that cash? What they needed was to build one of their highest ranking boys called their Utopia. Penitentiary number two. Right again. The idea was they built a place to toss all the convicted Yakuza they round up, then go and make deals with those very same Yakuza. What kind of deals? Stuff like bribing people to commit crimes. And then when the cops came in and saved the day, everyone think they were the heroes. Crime will become a police controlled affair. That's absurd. Yeah. An absurd power grab. Whoever handled those crimes would be getting big brownie points on the force. End up rocketing up the ranks. I still can't believe the 10 billion Jing was trying to launder through Tojo was supposed to end up with the cops. Believe me, I was just as surprised as you when I found out. Even with the money getting blown to high heaven, the paper trail alone is some serious shit. He's like, can I have one of those dogs? No, those are for the kids. Aww. Honestly, the only reason I grabbed this file in the first place is because I wanted a little dirt on the warden. Something I could use to bargain my way out of there, you know? <clears throat> but I gotta say, I never thought I'd stumble on a shitstorm this massive. Almost feels like it's out of my league, if you get me. I show up on Tokyo's PD's doorstep with baby in tow, or with this baby in tow, I think I thought you just pulled a random baby. And that'd be the last anyone ever hears of me. Hmm. Turns out this spell is not the bargaining chip I was hoping it'd be. It's yours now. But why me? Cause you were at the center of everything that went down five years ago. Hell, you even had to beat the shit out of your own brother at the end of it all. How do you know that? Then Nah. Hear you? I'm leaving, you mentioned Ishiki. Come on, don't give me the silent treatment here. I just don't get it. Why did you show me that? I already told you. You gotta go to Kamurocho and tell my boy Saijima really. There's more to it than that. I know there is. Besides, you wouldn't end up behind bars again in no time without this bargaining chip of yours. So tell me, Hamazaki, what are you really after? <laughs> what? Destroy Tojo Clan? Orelanがいなくなっちまった登場会で、今とんでもないことが起こってるんだ。俺はなきりゅう。あんたにもう一度あの町の頂点に立ってもらいてんだよ。What happened to the orphans? They don't come out in this game, huh? Did he mention Nishiki or Wukun? Is this going to be a long night? He mentioned Nishiki. Oh, okay, it's gonna be a long night. Ah. <laughs> oh, there they are! Tai Chi in the house! Let's go, Tai Chi! <laughs> yeah! Yo! We're home, Uncle Kaz. Looks like you kids had a good trip. You enjoy yourselves? Oh, yeah. It was awesome. We hiked. 
when camping. He was saw some old bones and stuff at a museum. Trying to scare him seriously, to be honest. Yeah, once he removed his limiters. Wasn't it super cool, Koji? Koji's like, remember when those guys we knew died? Rikia? Remember Rikia? Can you stop? You gotta mention that every time. How was your great ship, Ayako? Great! Okay, no more from you. Uncle Kaz, is that another new <laughs> uncle that's gonna die? Amazaki san da. Oru no mukashi kara no shiriai de. Dame! Shikayarai de! He will stab you. Haruka, I thought we were past this. Kono kotachi ni chikazukanai de. Haruka. It's like Uncle Cass, he literally stabbed you. Quit acting like I'm being unreasonable. Haruka, it was funny. You know, trauma only weighs you down if you let it. <laughs> Oh, guys, you can't act like I'm being unreasonable here. He's literally put a knife in your guts. Oh, who hasn't stabbed me? <clears throat> Remember Rikia? He would try to stab me if he had a knife, too. Haruka, literally every friend I've had tried to kill me. You know who stabs me all the time? You know who stabs me all the time? She's like, oh, don't say Majima. Majima stabs me all the time. He fucking leaves to the beach. I hate it here. Stop talking about Majima. And I have access to the hideout. You can save your game. Well, kids. <laughs> Bye. This house will teach forgiveness. If a friend hasn't tried to stab me at least once, I take it as an insult. Basically, are you, you mind if I fish here? Or... You're going back to Kamurocho, aren't you? Remember when we met and you pointed a gun at me? It's not the same, Uncle Kaz. I didn't shoot you. He literally stabbed you. Harakai. Here, how about this? Remember when I slapped you? Do you still hate me? A little, but for different reasons. I just don't get it, Uncle Kaz. How can you trust him so easily? He stabbed you in broad daylight, Uncle Kaz. You almost died. Yeah, but I didn't. Erica, please. You're making a real big deal out of this. It don't gotta be a big deal. Whenever I see him, I just think back to what happened last year. What he did to you. That memory terrifies me, Uncle Kaz. Erica, they're not gonna kill Kiryu. He's, he is John Yakuza, Erica. You're being unreasonable. <clears throat> If you had the dignity to stab you in the dead of night, that'd be one thing. But in broad daylight, on the streets, Uncle Kaz. For everyone could see, not even Majima does that. I've always believed in you. You know I have. But this time, I'm really worried. It feels like if you go to Tokyo now, you're never going to come home. You heard us talking last night, huh? Maybe you want to know what happened five years ago, but I don't care one way or another. I just want you to be safe. You don't care? Erika, you lost both your parents in that incident. For sure I killed one. I lost Nishiki and Kazuma. If there really was something more going on behind the scenes, wouldn't you want to know what it was? That's why I trust her to kill me. Something stupid happens to make it not work. <laughs> I'm happy just being here with you, Uncle Kaz. And that's all I need. Not the truth. Just you. Erika. That's stupid. It does like a quick stab. Ah, I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. It just, just does the gesture to mess with her. Now, nah, Kiryu got you again. No, 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 no. I don't got a knife. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm I'm 
あんたにはここでの新しい生活があるんだろうでもそれじゃお前が心配すんな俺は結構しぶとい Here's like, see Haruka, do you forgive him now? No? You are impossible, young lady. Guess I'm gonna head down to the station now. Turn myself in. That's a bad idea. That's a terrible idea. <clears throat> Already? Sooner than better, I figure. Anyway, I'll be seeing you, Kiryu. Hold on. Do you even know where the police station is? I'm an adult. I got eyes. I'll find it. I'm an adult. I'm coming with you, Amazaki. We might have had our differences, but you at least deserve a proper send off after all we've been through together. What differences? You forgave him for everything and then he stabs you. <laughs> Is the difference that he wanted to stab you and you didn't want to be stabbed? <laughs> See yourself. Alright, kids, I'm going off with my、uh, attempted murderer. Oh, you wanted, I gotta talk to you. Yeah, let's do it. What if he's like, hey, I'm a, I, I escaped from prison, I want to turn myself in? The cop's just like, sure, whatever. Are you sure about this, Hamazaki? 100%. And the only way I'm going to hang with Saijima is, is when we're both back in the slammer. Hamazaki. Please, why won't you listen to me? Oh shit, look who it is. My brother was sent to a prison in Okinawa. I know he was. You can say that all you want, lady, but I've never heard of this penitentiary number two you keep going on about. Now go home already. No, please. You have to listen to me. I'm begging you. We already have listened. Ah, listen. I already told you. We looked at the logs of a prisoner ship down here. Your brother isn't and has never been in an Okinawa prison. He is, I just know he is. Please, check for Taiga Saijima one more time. Please, officer. What? No. Huh? You know Saijima too? Small world! What are the fuck is this? Life is a、uh, life, uh, life finds a way. Taiga, what does no any this? Brother, Choto, Kesa Shonomai, the Tsugo Gavarina. Moshi Yokeba, Scoshi, Ohana Shio Kikase de Moramasenka. Moska Ste, Hani no Koto de Nanika was on the Ska. バイニューチャーあんたの力になれるかもしれんとにかく人目のつかない場所に行こうお付き合いいただけますかはいバックスプレイスキュリーズ。ああ、これは私たちが戦った時の時に。やあ、覚えてる時覚えてる時。あ、これは私たちが戦った時の時。あ、これは私たちが戦った時の時。あ、これは私たちが戦った時の時。あ、これは私たちが戦った時の時。あ、これは私たちが戦った時。I wish Hamazaki said Heki. Just in this one line. He just said, The Heki is this place, Kiryu. And then they never address it. He, nobody ever says Heki again. Just Hamazaki says it this one time right here. <laughs> the ex head of a family called the Tamashiro I crossed swords with last year. It's been empty for a while now. If there's anywhere we won't be interrupted, it's here. So are you ready to talk? 
We might be able to find where your brother is if we pull all the information we have. Right. Now, you said you were Taigo Saijima's sister? That's right. My name is Yasuko Saijima. I... I haven't seen my brother for 25 years now. Every single day I tried to visit him in prison, but they never once let me in to see him. Not a single time in all those years. Then just a few days ago I heard he was being transferred. To penitentiary, penitentiary number two down in Okinawa. Wait, if it doesn't exist, how did you hear that? Was it the Yakuza dude? Hmm. Hmm. As soon as they told me, I left Kamarocho and raced down here. Oh no, wait, that's the official name for it or whatever. But no matter how many times I ask, all the authorities insist such a place has never existed. That's what we walked in on. Yes. I'm at my wit's end here. Yesuko, yeah? Anyone who told you the penitentiary number two doesn't exist either doesn't know the truth or was lying to you. It's real, alright. What? I should know. I've been there. You have? Oh, yeah. They gave it some fancy name and number like a regular old prison, but it's not actually government run. You ever heard of a private prison? Of course. And that's what penitentiary number two is? Yep. These are gonna have to come later, though. I've got some more important news for you first. Truth of the matter is, I know your brother. You know Taiga? Mm hmm. Oh, and here's another grain of truth for you. He's long gone from Okinawa. Probably reached Kamarocho by now, if I had to guess. Me and him broke out together a few days ago. You. What? He's telling the truth. Your brother washed up in my orphanage the next day, and I ended up getting. Okay, so he was actually just shot and lost at the ocean for multiple days. <laughs> at least three, actually, because she's here. Miss Mean, she finished with Akiyama. <laughs> Are you fucking. He survived being stranded at sea with a bullet in him for at least three days. <laughs> Yakuza's yeah, so fucking stupid. <laughs> and the journal he had was fine. None of the pages got wet or anything. <laughs> How did he do that? <laughs> How did he manage that? Where, where did he keep it? Uh, maybe we underestimated this dude. <laughs> what the f- uh, That's- That's- uh, I was so blinded by rubber bullets, I forgot- I didn't fucking even think about this shit. I spilled ice water out of my Naruto manga once and the quarters are still kept. Bro had that shit like in his shirt pocket. And he was lost at sea for at least three days. <laughs> this game is stupid. I fucking love you, Kuzi. He entered the Avatar state just for that those three days that he like as soon as he washed up on the orphanage, he's like, oh I can never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love this franchise. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. They took a lot out of him. The avatars all died as soon as he washed up on the on the fucking beach. <laughs> He's like, oh no, the avatar state. It's a good thing the book's face is safe though. Let's go. And on top of him surviving out there for at minimum three days with bullet wounds, keeping the journal intact, he also just fucking <laughs> watches up at Kiryu's doorstep. <laughs> Which means he was like going in circles or something, or he went like in a roundabout way, because he didn't, he only, he fell in there. Like, after, <laughs> he fell in there before Saijima. And Saijima got there faster. <laughs> D 
Do you think he used that cop as like a raft or the, the prison guy? I don't remember his name. You think he used him as a raft? <laughs> Maybe that's why it took him. Saijima just swam faster. <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> this game is so fucking dumb. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to say he washed up sometime after Saijima, like shortly after Saijima. Maybe a, maybe a couple hours after Sajima, and then he rested at the orphanage for like four days. That's not much better, but it's a it's still doesn't explain the book. <laughs> I'm tr I'm trying game. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to swing for you, but you already have rubber bullets in this game, man. You're not making it easy for me, Yakuza Four. Oh man. Four days of rest makes sense, though. I guess it doesn't really explain everything else, but it would like at least, because <laughs> him being lost at sea for four days is just so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Sorry, sorry, he has to go. You just missed them. In that case, I can't afford to waste any more time here. I need to get back to Kamurocha at once. The bullet one has been goddamn salty. He probably ate some of the meat that he's like, I'm, I'm, I'm salty. You ever feel salt in a paper cut? I have not, but I've done alcohol. It's that times a thousand. Jesus. But this place is abandoned. Who the fuck would come here? How the fuck would anybody even know to come here? What happened to the gang members? The other two that lived. The one that was not Rikia and the boss. Here, she definitely stupid as fuck away once already. I ain't trying that twice in one game. In fact, I've already, I'm like weighing over my head. I was a C to your character at best. Oh shit, it's this dude. He lived too? Nobody dies in these games. Literally, nobody dies in these games. Bro, I can say the same shit about you. So that's the bitch who had run into the police begging to see Saijima. No one's ever really gone. No one's ever really butted. But, but, shut up. Who are these guys? Hamasaki? I mean, is, is it that where that guy with two fewer bullet holes lived in the same place? It's just, the fact that they both lived, it's so funny. Like, nobody dies in these games. <laughs> nobody could die. I bet the guys who got shot in the head are still alive, too. Guards from that shithole penitentiary I was telling you about. These pricks are the cruelest goons in the business. Heh. <laughs> Rich, coming from an escaped convict. Look, I'll go back with you. Whatever I gotta do. Just leave these two out of it. They don't got a goddamn thing to do with this. I don't know why I had a god there. Okay, and dear, don't worry, Hamazaki. We're not gonna kill you. But you're gonna need a serious attitude adjustment once we get back in the slammer. I'll have you know the man I stabbed is the one harboring me, so me. You stabbed this guy? That's why I was in jail. Oh, I don't read those. I just start hitting people. Either way, bitch isn't going anywhere. Why? This is between you and me. Sorry, but Warden's orders. He told me to bring Taiga aside to my sister. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Me? But why would... This is a lot of bull. I could fight four bulls. He's like, what, Kiryu? I fought two tigers. Huh? Take care of Yasuko. What? What are you saying, Kiryu? I'll handle the guards. You stay behind me and keep her safe. Understand? Yeah. You hear that? If you want to get to Yasuko, you're going to have to go through me. And who are you, tough guy? Someone who spent almost a quarter of his life in prison. 
And I can tell. You're no ordinary guards. Hmm. Step aside, pal. Or who knows? You might just accidentally beat you to death. I think you'll find that's not as easy as you expect. Heh. <laughs> Your funeral. No more fucking around. Slaughter him. He's like, how do you accidentally beat someone to death? We're curing you again! Ah, uh, dead. Fuck on this! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. He's like, what'd I do? Ow, ow, where'd that come from? Can you not spank me, bro? I'm exactly get him. Ah, oh, we had the same idea. He's so aggressive. Whoa, that was cool. <clears throat> Are we done with him now? Is that the end? Um. Oh, I guess this is a long battle. Hey, are they really just making me go through this in reverse now? That's so RGG! Are you reducing assets? I'm just kidding. Of course they are. What the fuck? That's a joke because people were getting mad at God of War for reusing a boat animation. And also Spider-Man for reusing swing and animations. Also reusing New York as an asset, which is like one of the stupider complaints. Man. Oh, he already has stuff started up. Well, that makes sense because it's Kiryu. But wouldn't they use assets that are fine? I don't know. People just like to complain about whatever they can. This is a good song. Oh, it's right there. Damn, he already knows all his level 3s and his level 2s. Calm down, Kiryu, let me learn shit.
God, he has so many essences. Holy shit. They're so generous with the items. I know I mentioned that before, but like they give you so many now. Ah, oh, shit, a fat boy chair. That's just the couch, actually. They're not scary. But I couldn't get a fat boy chair. They ran out. Yeah, there's the follow-up. I'm missing that. That grenade, you better kill me with it. That's a gun. You better kill me if you shoot me. Now I have the gun. <laughs> oh my god. This dude's so persistent. That's old. So from this guy's perspective, do you think he just got like stronger? I like, fought him once and then he somehow got stronger after that too. He's like, what the fuck you weren't doing this shit before? Oh, I got away. Oh, fuck. He's got a little swagger to his walk, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, that has to be the last of them. <clears throat> Probably not. You can't kill the guard, man. だからあんた一刻も早く最初までところへ。浜崎さん。お前。どういうわけわからんが、安子さん。あんたも命を狙われてるようだ。桐生。うん、分かってる。俺も一緒に神室町に行く。え、すまねえな。<笑> あの子供たちを裏切るようなことをさせちまって俺はお前に頼まれてするわけじゃないカムロ町に行くのは俺の意志だ
早く行けこっちのことは心配するなああ行こう安子さんはい浜崎さんありがとうございました兄にあなたのような親友がいたこと誇らしく思いますああやめてくれそういうの兄には必ずあなたのことを伝えますいいから行けさあ行こう Oh no, being lost at sea for four days with open bullet wounds caught up to him. To Kamurocho. Santa Mora, this isn't your part anymore. Leaving already, Machan? <clears throat> You know, Zhao, you've been a better friend to me than I've ever been to you. Don't be ridiculous. You know that's not true. I'm just sorry the truth turned out to be so harsh. Your father, murdered by another man in the force. I can barely believe it. You're telling me. Tanamura, you need to hurry up because I'm on the other model. I'm not switching to the, first, oh, the new model for you. I'm going to stay on this one because we're playing as Kiryu, so hurry up. Something about all this doesn't sit well with me. How will your father's spirit ever find peace? I think he'll be just fine. Mm -hmm. Chief Asai, Suguchi, they were tired of being used by Munakuda and Katsuragi all these years. Hmm. Also, I just noticed because he's not the player character, his text isn't blue, it's white. Because we're playing as Kiryu. <clears throat> the two of them spent their whole lives serving others. But their final moments, those were theirs, and theirs alone. They went out following their own brand of justice. Machan. Did I have Pecking Duck? No. Suguchi must have known telling me the truth of what happened 20 years, 25 years ago with signing his own death warrant. But he did it anyways. And Chief Asai? He took his own life in order to spare you, me, and me. Oh, he shot himself. Was it a rubber bullet? That explains what he said in the phone before he shot himself. Both of them will be dealt with. Yeah. Chief Asai told Munakuda I was dead so he'd stop coming after me. He spread my life so I could do what's right. So I could do what he never could. You mean bring Munakuda down? Munakata. Exactly. <laughs> but how are you going to do that, Machan? Munakata is one of the most powerful men in one of the top police institutions in the world. Well, I don't think I'll be getting much help from my fellow officers, that's for sure. Akiyama! Ni hao. Akiyama? <laughs> Phew. This just really hit the proverbial fan, huh? You're telling me. Anyway, what's up? You wouldn't swing by here without a good reason. Mm. You know, sometimes it's depressing how sharp you are. What happened? District Attorney's goon showed up in my office. Started tearing the place apart at the seams. Not to mention, they chucked me out on the street. Wait, they're investigating Sky Finance? On what grounds? They said they're looking into some kind of corrosion? Corrosion? Corrosion. The exact terms eluding me at the moment. Anyway, the issue is my test. They said I'm forcing people to do stuff they don't want to do in exchange for money. 
Classic corruption case. Coerce. Coercion. I'm hungry. <clears throat> it's like I can hear the words coming out of the DA's mouth himself. Anyway, I didn't know where else to turn, so I thought I'd drop by here. Looks like Kaya had a bad time, though. Want me to come back later? No, your timings actually couldn't be better. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I need a hand with something, Akiyama. Oh. What are they up to? Ah, Kamurocho. Where it all began. <clears throat> Kiyo-san. どうやらいつものカムロ町って感じじゃないな。あんまり悠長にしている暇はなさそうだ。すぐにあんたのお兄さんを探そう。だがとりあえずその前にあんたに言っておきたいことがある。ちょっとついてきてくれ。<笑> Are we going to go to Serena? Can't think of a better place to talk than New Serena. Yes, go. there's a bar in here that I used to go to back in the day. We can catch our breath there for a bit. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Yippee! Excuse me. <clears throat> What's this truck doing here? Is someone moving? We don't care. That's not our problem. That's Sky Finance's problem. I don't even know who that is. Mama, you're not Mama. <clears throat> Wait, is that fucking Date? Oh my god. Kiryu. Date san. Hisashiburi da na. Did she get fired? What's going on, Kiryu? You show up in a guy's bar and don't even drop him a line first? Sorry for not letting you know, Date. I have some business in town. Work near ends for the X-Force chairman, huh? You've got that right. Anyway, this is Yasuko Saijima. I'm here helping with a little... Wait, I'm here helping her with a little something. It's nice to meet you. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. She's a knockout, Kiryu. How'd you end up bringing a girl like her back here, huh? Whatever you're thinking, I guarantee you've got a wrong idea. Let's leave it at that. By the way, where's Mama? Gone for the week. Family trouble, you know how it goes. And you're holding down the fort while she's gone? Yep. It's a real pain, well with my other work and all. But she insists we keep it open for the regulars. They're all dead. Lucky for us that she does. Now, Kiryu, what's this little something you know? I'm serious. The only people who've ever stepped foot inside this bar are you, me, people I bring, and Nishiki. And they're dead. <laughs> that you become a man wife? You can't say that. <clears throat> Alright. You mind taking a seat, Yasuko? Yasuko? Um. Please, I just need to ask you something before we head out to find your brother. Okay. Dati, what is this soundtrack you got playing here? This shit ass. So what is it you want to ask me? Sorry if this is a blunt question. But why do you need to see your brother so bad? Bad enough to murder for him. Wait, you what? Kiryu, is this really the best place to- Now, Dati never arrests nobody. Don't worry about Dati, he's an ex-detective. Yeah, but we can trust him, I promise. He'd never turn you in without hearing what you had to say first. Isn't that right, Date? Well, uh, yeah, that's right. You, I mean, she's like, yeah, I want to see my brother again and prove he's innocent, so I killed people. I committed murder multiple times. Well, that's understandable. Now tell me the truth, Yasuko. Why would you go so far for your brother? I... 
Yasuko. Come on. It's because... Because Taiga is everything to me. I owe him my life. What? I'm serious. If it weren't for him, I would have died years ago. Go on. Have you heard of a living donor kidney transplant? Oh yeah, you read about those things all the time. Do you? <clears throat> That's when they give you a kidney from one of your relatives, right? They say you only need one after all. Right. The truth of it is, I'm the recipient of one of those living donor transplants. And your brother's the one who gave it to you, huh? That's what you meant when you said you owe him your life. Yes. I know about that, but it's probably the most common organ transplant. Mm. Hold on. Getting a transplant like that from your sibling isn't all that uncommon. I'm not judging or anything, but do you really owe him that much just for a kidney? It's not that simple. Think you can explain? The kidney I got, it wasn't Taiga's? He wasn't a match. Taiga just found another one for me. Where did you, where did you get that kidney? You know what? I never asked. Different blood types? Well, yes, but... But what? Why couldn't you get the transplant from your brother? Yesuko? Are you an orphan? Did you get adopted? I, um... I think I get what's going on here. You and Taiga aren't actually siblings. Kiryu! He's right. Taiga is my stepfather's son from his prior marriage. My mother had me before she and my stepfather even met. <clears throat> and where'd you find a match? Since my mother had already passed, Taiga tracked down my biological father and begged him to donate his kidney to me. Saijima. Without the regular difficulty of finding a kidney donor, my blood type is extremely rare. A direct relative was my only hope of a match. Once Taiga learned that, he spent every waking moment of his life scouring the city until he found my father. This music is not appropriate for this story. He was only 15 years old at the time. So just a kid, huh? I'd honestly given up hope. Before my mother died, she told me my father was nothing more than an abusive drunk with no chance of ever changing. It's a good thing that kidney was still intact. Based on what I knew, it seemed likely he was already dead. Even if he wasn't, I didn't want to live knowing I owed my life to such a horrible man. The story is a lie, so I actually dug up her mother and tore her kidney out. I was gonna be like, no, he would get both his kidneys, and he find out Sajima is running around with no kidneys. <laughs> he just does I don't need them. They're slowing me down. What? They set it off and brought it to the doctor's like, here, use this. Where did you get that? That's not that's not a pro that's not your concern. Do the surgery. Surgery guy. Surgeon. Whatever. At the time I would have rather died than continue on carrying a part of him inside me. But Tiger wouldn't take no for an answer. He said no matter what happened, he would take care of me. Then... You found your dad? It looks... This is, just put it in! Shoves it. Shoves it towards the dog. Yes. Well? Where was he? In Kansai. He had started working for a Yakuza organization called the Omi Alliance. What? Handling the dirty jobs nobody else wants to touch. The Omi? That's right. So I went along to Kansai knowing full well that my father was the accuser, but... Let me guess. They tried to extort him. Exactly. The accuser threw and through, my father demanded a massive sum of money in exchange for one of his kidneys. How much cash are we talking about? 30 million yen. 30 mil? That's a ton now, but it was a fortune back then. How was the kid ever supposed to get his hands on that kind of money? He wasn't. That was the point. But Tega didn't give up. He started fighting thugs in the streets of Kamurocho, trying to scrape together whatever he could find. He tried to kill him by hand. He just, he just... He said, 30 million bag. You wanna go beat people up for money like it's GTA? That would never work. Not for cash like that. It didn't. Not until Sai Sai from Tojo Plant stepped in. He gave Taiga he gave Taiga the thirty million under one condition. He joined the Sasai family. So that's how he ended up in Tojo. <clears throat> all that time Taiga never turned his back to me. Even when it seemed like all hope was lost, he supported me. He dropped out of high school, gave up on his dream of becoming a teacher, 
even join the Yakuza stream. Bro wanted to be a teacher? I I didn't know that. I didn't know Saijima wanted to be a teacher. Damn. So that's what you meant when you said you owe me life. <clears throat> that's crazy because Saijima's dumb as shit. Maybe he wouldn't have been if he didn't join the Yakuza. Not only did Taiga literally save my life, but he gave me the will to keep on living. That's the quote. Kiryu, why don't you tell a funny story? Kiryu, <laughs> <笑>あたしにとってお兄ちゃんはお兄ちゃんだから。だから。あんたにはここで待っていてもらう。少しこの店で頭を冷やした方がいい。え?あ?何言ってんだ、キリ。こんなに切実に会いたがってるってのに。
And no matter what's going down, you need to hear Majima's side of the story. All right. Last I already taken Rude up on the top floor of the Million Tower. Why would he be there? Starting there's your best bet. Great. Thanks, Date. Date doesn't know his old job is probably in on the... Is, <laughs> I got an email. Hey, it's that dude. It's that dude right there. <clears throat> what? Hey, guys. Look, I get where you're coming from. Just calm down for one second, Shinya. You don't get a damn thing you're too soft, man. You know the rules. You, yeah. If a customer ducks out on their bill, it's the host's responsibility. But Siri knew that when he let his girl run up on that huge tab. You're not wrong. Those are the rules. I've seen it happen time and time again in this biz. And sure, I'm being easy on Mitsuru. But he does a little slack with how hard he works. Besides, the kids are real high-earner for us. We just gotta let this one mistake slide. He'll learn from it, and we'll all be better off in the long run. But for now, yeah. Of course I'm gonna help him. And what? Stardust is just gonna eat the five mil he lost? He'll pay it. Don't worry. Just not yet. Hitting him all at once would bankrupt the poor kid. <clears throat> Come on, are you gonna bail out everyone who fucks up from now on? Stardust will go under in the blink of an eye. Kazuki would never let this bullshit slide. Where, where's Kazuki? Uh. Hey, Yuya. Problem so big, you have to take it outside, huh? Here are you. I didn't know you were back in town. Just for a bit while I take care of some business. Well, I would have dropped by with a gift or two if you had let me know first. Heh, <laughs> don't sweat it. We've known each other for too long to be worried about those kind of formalities. By the way, how are things going at the club? You and that kid don't really look like you're seeing eye to eye. You want to matter the narrative? Nah, same as ever. I know what happens to the narrative. What happens to people who matter in the narrative with you, Kiryu? They die. <coughs> Low ranking thugs like me, we die. Sorry I got to see that, Kiryu. So, what's going on? It's this host we have, Mitsuru. He let one of his customers run out on a 5 million yen tab. Ouch. Yeah, that's a pretty common thing, though. It is. And Siri's one of the hardest workers we've got, too. And I can't even begin to tell you how much business he brought in. He's got kind of unlucky this time. So I want to give him a hand somehow if I can. Heh. <laughs> That's a Yuya I know. I just don't know, Kiryu. You think I'm too soft on them? Shinya seems to think so. Pretty sure Kazuki called me soft at least once, too. I was wanting to help my ho- Is all- <laughs> Is wanting to help my host out really so bad? Knew ya. But hey, you don't need to hear all this. I should be getting back inside anyway. Gotta do my part to keep Stardust the top host club in Kamarocho. I appreciate you laying an ear though, Kiryu. Thanks. And we never saw Yuya again. Yeah. All these people just texting like, hey, we still got beef. Kiri, you come back here. I figured, I know you're in Kamurocho. Like, how do you find out? Why is he wearing a George Washington wig? He has a lot of HP. Cause why not? I'm gonna level with you. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> it's to signify he's rich. I'm gonna level with you. I have no f budding butt. Thank you, Buttspot. A gold plated stamina royale? That's just a stamina royale. That doesn't do nothing for me, you stupid douchebag. I hope it doesn't explode this time. 
Is that like a salmon royale with cheese? I don't think so. I think it's just like a, it has like the, 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 the plastic bottle is gold plated. I bet Kiryu eats the bottles. Oh my god, he's arrested? Call him, Kiryu. Just go, Majima! Majima no Nisa! Kiryu chan. Oi! Doko eku! Tate ni goku na! Nani ga atta na? Umai koto hamerare te shimota. Kore de shibaraku mi yungoki ga tore hen. Dare ni yarare ta? Daigo ya. Daigo? Nan da te? Dojima Daigo ya. Daigo ga? Oi! Nah, I can't take another ten years in the joint. Isongya Kiryu-chan. Zenbu no jiken wa tsunagattoru. Twenty-five years ago, no yatsu mo. Hundred-oku no jiken mo. Yasuko-chan no yatsu mo ya. Yeah, Majima is just like doing it for the from like he's saying I'll cooperate, but. If he didn't want to, these guys wouldn't really be able to do anything about it. Oh my god, that was a Chapter 3, Encounter. Damn, we're already on Chapter 3? The Fizzy King, yeah, they were like just kind of hanging on to him. He was dragging them along. So, I was going to take care of him. I got it. Oh, Saijima Yasuko's search is already done. Then, where are the files of Rei? I'm going to find it. Oh, I got it. Then, I'm going to find it. あなたのご協力で真島を逮捕することができましたよこれで真島組の邪魔が入らない感謝しますいつ大学を見つけたのかもしれない Every time. さあ、あとはあなたがどう決断するか。それだけです。All right. 数日前の上野清和会との抗争、それに五年前の百億事件、すべてがあなた方によって仕組まれていたことだったとは。いまだに信じられません。ボリュームそれが真実です。もう迷ってる時間はありませんよ、六代目。私はね、堂島さん。極道組織というのは社会の必要悪だと思っているんですよ。敗戦後、日本という国の復興を陰で支えてきたのは警察と極道です。それは間違いありません。我々、警察は目に見える犯罪から一般人を守り、秩序を築いた。そして極道は、目に見えない外敵を水際で叩き、この国を独立国家として成り立たせた。だからね、私は警察だけが正義だなどというつもりはありません。警察と極道は今の今まで常に表裏一体
共に同じ道を歩んできたのですからだが時代は変わった本来裏の顔であるはずのあなたたちは組織が巨大化するにつれ本来の立場を忘れ表の世界に出るようになった金を稼ごうとする者も,も増えてきた巨大な組織には金が必要だしかしそれでは何かとお互いに都合も悪いだから私はそれを本来の形に修正したいだけなんですあなたさえよければ上の清和会は責任を持って潰します公の力を使ってきれいにね裏を取り仕切る組織はあまり多くない方がいいその条件が荒いというわけですかええこの荒いを新たに若頭に昇進させて我々との窓口にしてほしい組織の運営は新井が取り仕切りますあなたは六代目として登場会を守ることができるどうでしょうあなた方登場会としては本来敵であるはずの我々と手を組める<笑>悪い話じゃないはずですが上野は上野清和会はどうするつもりなんですか<笑>あのカツラギという男がバカでないならおそらく彼らは彼らで動き出しているはずだ私以外の警察上層部との取引の材料を確保するためにね材料<笑> well, what is it? No, Saijima beat more people than that. Nizu Gonemburi no Saikaidana Saijima. I forgot about this dude. k a t r a g i Is that one of his little arena fighters? Actually, that's kind of cool that they brought one out like he's trying to defend him. Solo Mewa Karanaina. なんでお前がここにおるんや話すのも面倒なくらいいろいろあってねまあんたもいろいろ真島さんから聞かされただろうお前の目的は何なんや俺のこと拉致して何になるんやまあ心配するなすぐにあんたを殺そうってわけじゃないあんたにはまだ生きていてもらうよどうせ殺すんやったら、はいやれよ。この世にまどろっこしいことして、時間使うぐらいやったら、いっそ死んだ方がマシや。ほほ、ずいぶんと潔いな。覚悟はできていると。当たり前じゃボケが。俺は死刑囚や。25年前のあの日、18人も殺した時から。覚悟はできとる。十<笑>八人殺したね。何がおかしいんじゃ。あんたは何にも知らなかったのか。あの二十五年前の事件。お前は誰一人殺してない。何言うとるんや。Tajima, you weren't tipped off when they all said ow and fell over and then kind of just rubbed the spot they got shot on? Tajima's that. He's like, I just I thought that's how they die. I thought they were dead. 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 Is that the one he was supposed to kill earlier in the chapter? I was just going to get a little bit of a plan. I was just going to get a little bit of a plan. I was just going to get a little bit of a plan. 
Yo teo, hinko, se hey, no, it's not even a single one was dead. How oh, fucking stupid are you? I hit them, they went ow, ow, and then like they rubbed the spot, I hit them. I thought that was just the process. どう<笑><笑> The bullet hit them, they said, ah, youch, and I just... It's Jochi! Hey, Jochi, hello! Welcome in, welcome in. How you doing? Long time no see. I hope you've been well. Kula, can you give Jochi a shout-out, please? I bet Sajima is just letting these guys feel good about themselves. There's no way he could... Yeah, they, they just tired. They tuckered him out. What the fuck? He just, he's pulling a Nishiki! Oh my god. He nishikied us. <laughs> 25 years in the joint made you a fucking pussy, Saijima. We didn't, I didn't know you before I went to prison. <laughs> Doing good. Hope the games are going great here. I'm having a lot of fun playing the Yakuza games. Yeah, yeah. We've been playing through Dragon's Dogma, Yakuza's. Uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake and Kakarot. Um, for those of you who don't know, Jochi's also deployed, like much like our friend Tulip T. And Jochi's uh, currently not like he's like, he's deployed right now. I don't I don't know if he's going through basics as well, but him and Tulip are both out there <clears throat> on the military stuff. That's why he hasn't been streaming. It's nice to see you again. I hope you're doing well though. Uh, Majima and Yasuko are in danger. I have a feeling about this. Better get back to New Serena and make sure she's okay. It was me, Saijima. I was the one who made the beginning of the song analog horror intro. Damn it. Damn you, kiddo. My balls are out, Saijima. My balls are out. He's like, ugh. Move. Super burger. Besides missing streaming, it's not too bad. Well, I'm glad to hear that at least. Uh, my brother was in the military for a long time too, but I know he like when he was out there, he mostly played World of Warcraft. I hope you're at least not. What? How? Do you have like a, a date when you come back when you can get back to streaming and stuff? Jochi, are you excited for for fucking Dragon Breaker 4? Get up. Oh, that guy died. Damn it, I need four of them. Motorcycle? Motorcycle, but I can't get it. Oh! Here you develop a new move where he just <laughs> just takes you straight to the curb. What? Well, uh, I spent my weed gotcha hell divers and visiting people on stream. I mean, that's not bad. Hell divers is a pretty cool game. I like it a lot. I need to play it more. I haven't been playing it more, but we're playing through all the Yakuza games. So we're currently on the the last part of the fourth one, so we're making. Pretty good progress. Why did I try going to the back? I guess it doesn't matter, right? Serena has a back door. Oh no, I can't go to the back anymore. For some reason, they made the back door for Serena inaccessible. I don't know Gunner Breaker 4 too much, but I'm interested in it for a bit. It's Gunner Breaker is really, really fun. Uh, basically, it's like you kit like you kit bash things. You get like parts of whatever mobile suit that you want. You can put like the ghost's head on Gundam Wing's body, and add burning Gundam's back parts, and then like add like Zagok claws. You just go nuts with whatever you want to make. Um, 
I remember the one I made in Gundam Breaker 3 was Noble Gundam combined with uh, the sniper from Gundam Double O. I don't remember its name. And uh, that suit was pretty strong. She had like the, the, the beam pistols, the sniper, and she had like a, the whip as well. And I saw in Gundam Breaker 4, you can actually have them dual wielding weapons that are different. So you can have like the claws in one hand and like the beam saber in another one. Looks really, really good. <clears throat> I come back to streaming for my return on 2.0 debut on December 1st. Oh, nice. What the? Date. Get up. You have to serve me a drink. Date, you can't. You got to do your job. Date. Date. I know you're just pretending so I don't get alcohol for free. Was this not the back door before? I thought it was. Date! Date! Yeah, I'll probably use it for case by for moves. So yeah, yeah, a lot of people use it for that too. <clears throat> Good, looks like he's come too. Oh, I just realized Date jobbered again. <laughs> Date! Huh? Oh, Kiryu. What happened? Are you okay? What do you think happened, Kiryu? Someone threw a single punch and I was completely devastated. Think so. Guess I just blacked out or something. You sure you're okay? My head's still fuzzy as all heck, but yeah, I'll be fine. You remember what happened? Well, you and I had the chat outside, then I came back in to keep Yasuka company while you were gone. Next thing I know, I was waking up on the floor to you screaming. Does it count as jobbing if you're never competent to begin with? Yeah. Date and our bad batch are some kind of rumor. <laughs> you don't remember anything else? Wait, now that you mention it, Yasuka poured us a couple of drinks when I stepped back in. Drinks? You think this is a chance she drugged you? I would try and do a, uh, if people want their ideas too, I would try to build it for them or just build it for fun. Um, I, Gundam Breaker is also co-op, by the way. You can play with other people too. You can do like missions together and stuff. We can all make our own super suits and play together. I don't know what like the player base limit is. I'm going to assume four, but you do like boss fights and, and just like waves of enemies and stuff. <laughs> you have to do it to find some good parts too. <clears throat> Can't rule out the possibility. They're still on the counter if you want to have a sip for yourself. I think I'll pass. I meant the plat model. Oh! Oh, like they show you in the game and you try to make it in real life? Not a clue, sorry. Damn it. Look, I'm sorry I was ready to throw down if some thugs barged in and tried to take her away, but I didn't think Yasuko herself would be the one fighting me. It's not your fault, Date. This is probably good looking for her, though. I'll be back. Wait, Kiryu, I'm coming too. No, I need you to stay here in case she comes back. This is probably the safest place in town at this point. Right. Well, good luck out there. Thanks. I'll be back soon. Yeah, that's a cool idea. I still, I gotta get through my backlog. My backlog has gotten so massive, it's not even funny. I literally have like a, a half-built dev site master grade sitting next to me right now <laughs> that I need to finish the lower half. Hey, look, it's raining. I have no idea where she went, by the way. Oh, wait, is that? Oh, there she is. I like it when Kamurocho rains. It looks cool. Take your time, the important thing is building in your own place. So the only thing that is like that like bothers me is that I wanna buy more. But then when I'm looking at Gumpla, I'm like, my backlog is huge. I really should not buy another one until I finish up what I have. Get up, I need four of you. Yeah! Holy shit! What the fuck is this? Oh, 
Kiryu, why don't you just do that all the time? Does he ever get that move back again? That was awesome! Self-control is important. Now, like, I got a backlog building up. Dang, that's so cool, don't you? That you got self-control and don't buy gunplay every time you see it. As I'm away, <laughs> it's hard. <clears throat> oh shit, Kiri has there some Wuku instead of Russian. That has, that has to be what it is, right? He's like tapping into the, the surface of like getting the teleportation that Wukun has. She's not strong. What's happening right now? I think Kiri has my favorite combat theme. Can we tempt if you don't get a paycheck? That's true too. My current obsession is magic though. Every time I go into a card store, I, I end up buying like a deck or sleeves or something. It's been, it's been real bad. I'm spending too much money on, on card drops. And garbage. How did she open this man's hole? Hey look, it's, it's these two. Yabai, Dareka Oikaka Tikamita. Itta Miokakso. Doyara, Sugus Soba Madea Tikterna. Ah, we don't want to come to Shane. Coca ordered the Kritomirish Canada. Uh. A gun? The gang's meeting up. Yeah, we're all gonna be friends finally. Kiri hasn't met these guys yet, but we'll be fast friends. I just know it. あんたも彼女町に住んでたんなら聞いたことくらいはあるだろう。あのホームレスのたまり場だった西高園の地下のことだよ。どうしてそこへ数日前、その際の。Can and we'll definitely still know all of them coming next game. All of them, they're our best friends. Like, who's it for? What would they do without one of the Yakuza 4? Just replace them with another different random guy out of nowhere? That'd be silly. Ain't too much about it. After this, no one will ever see it again. How is Kiryu not cut up by now? Kiryu's just doing the Michael Myers walk. それじゃ。あの。秋山さんも谷村さんも気をつけて。あ。それじゃ。Yes, <laughs> he hurt himself going down the ladder. Red and blue. You have to die. Oh my god. うえの聖和会のやつか。それとも宗方の使いのやつか。お何を言ってるんだ。あの女をどこにやった。リリちゃん、ちょっとよ。何あんと、ダメだよ。これ以上先には行かせないよ。安子さんには指一本触れさせない
Protagonist fight. Oh, I wonder if they know if the selfish seed is not freedom. Let's go! Shanakiyama, Masayoshi Tanamura. I was like, what the fuck? I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> Getting parried sucks. They're jumping my ass. <laughs> Just changing target to the middle of the combo and catching the other guy completely off guard is so funny. Oh. I like how they have heat also though, like he like Tanamura's heat ran out. And so did uh, Akiyama just now. Like they're like using the same rules as me. Oh my god! <laughs> He's carrying up the armor like a baby! <laughs> Alright, Akiyama, you got this! It turns out Akiyama does not have this! <laughs> that fight's so cool. They don't stand a chance against Kiryu. They might be strong, but they are not Kiryu. They're like, how do we lose? You guys are almost as strong as two tigers. What? What? <laughs> As soon as, as soon as he slammed Tanamore's face in there, Akiyama was like, uh oh. Saijima's a little below Kiryu, and these guys are just so far below both of them. They're not even comparable. They're just they're just dudes. They're just like regular dudes. Like they're 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 tough, but these guys, the Yakuza are just like on a different level. Ah man, I wish we got a Yagami fight with one of some of these guys. I would love to see where Yagami falls into line. I need to find Yasuko fast. Somewhere around here must have seen her. <clears throat> Not even winded, and now he's hanging out with the hobos. I got the manhole opener. Now I can open man's holes. I'm sorry, I know I keep making that joke. It's just, it tickles me every time. Is there a safe here? Oh, yeah, I did get a bunch of level ups from that. I think Majima is the most variable, like in Zero and Kami is absurd as Kiryu, but after that he's usually below Saijima. He just stops trying. Majima is just like, eh, I'm good. I did what I wanted to do.
Fuck it. <clears throat> Being below Majima is still insanely top tier. Yeah, Majima is cracked. Majima, even when, like, like he's not as full power, he's still fucking absurd. Like, he's still so strong. I think it really is just that he doesn't, like, have the desire to try as much anymore. Like, like he'll fight when he's serious and he needs to be, but otherwise he doesn't even really, like, care. Like, my just kind of being goofy and vibing and stuff, you know? Saijima and Kiryu are practically gods? Yeah, basically. Um... I don't really have a, a, a raid target, so I'm just going to go to Kuri because I'm not really going to hang out for long because I'm kind of tired. But we are ending here. Uh, I wanted to do that fight before I called stream. So I'm glad I did it. Tomorrow, Final Fantasy. And it's a pretty big part in Final Fantasy, if I remember right, because I think we're about to get to the plate drop, which is a pretty significant moment in that story <sighs> that was fun though we're cure you again so i'm gonna have to remember to put this model on when we play these games i think we're getting pretty close to the end of the game though i, I think we're, we're nearing the end i'm not too sure but not much more now and then we go on to yakuza 5 which is the yakuza i have like the least experience with a side three in which three, my only experience was the demo. Uh, in four, I, I I never finished out of Morris chapter, so that was I I seen like what happens after, but that was the first time I played it myself. And five, I don't know anything about, besides like what they talk about in the other games. So five will be fun. Although I do have to make the decision on whether we're gonna go straight to five or after we finish four, we go with the Dead Souls. I'm still trying to decide that. I don't know. Um. Considering Dead Souls, just because uh, I don't know, I'll just I'll figure it out. But there goes the timer. So as always, you guys thanks for checking out. I appreciate it. I will see you all tomorrow for Final Fantasy. And uh, yeah, bye.